The Heat, on the other hand, I mean, there's no reason to doubt them. Jimmy Butler certainly doesn't. Having said, I still believe with everything in me that we will win a championship here in Miami, but it has been two bitter, very bitter finals losses. Um, and we know they're going to have to do some changing, Chandler, but how does Jimmy keep the positivity going? How do they regroup and, and try this again? Well, just as they did this year, right? They kind of flew under the radar. They, I still, I, I can't believe he said the regular, the regular season comment, how he doesn't decide to play off. I'm going to believe him, though, next year. I, I'm going to give him one more chance to kind of have a mediocre regular season and then turn it up in the playoffs. But this is a team with arguably the best coach. They don't really have a superstar player. I think Jimmy Butler is very, very good. I, 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 I can't put him in the same category as Kevin Durant. I can't put him in the same category as, as Steph, Cur uh, Steph Curry or Jokic or guys like that. But he's very good. But they're one piece away. They need something else. They need. They have a lot of decisions to make this summer on Max Struess, on Gabe Vincent. But this is a tough-minded team. This is a team that is used to being slept on. This is a team that has that culture that's going to grind. They're going to get better. They're going to continue to develop all these players. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind they're going to be right there in the thick of things. And you look at their team. They're not as they're not as good as Boston Celtics. They're not as talented as guys like Giannis and these and you know Embiid and Harden and Tyrese Maxey. But they know how to win and they know how to compete. And that's more important than just talent alone. So no doubt in my mind they'll be here in the same situation next year, contending for a championship, pending what they do in free agency, who they add, who they lose. There's a there's a real chance that the teams they beat in the Eastern Conference this year are going to go through a, a, a ton of transition this year. I mean, a lot of people think James Harden's on his way out of Philly. Uh, everybody's wondering about Jalen Brown all summer, uh, Milwaukee, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez. If those teams get a little bit worse and the Heat manage to improve a little bit, yeah, they're right in the thick of things again. The problem is, who can they beat out West? I mean, we're, we're, I would never pick them against the Nuggets, ever, after what we just seen over last week. So then we're looking at, what, the Warriors, the Suns, the Clippers, if the Clippers get there. Like, I feel like those teams and their talent, it, it, it's just a better collection of talent. So it, it is tough for them, but they will be contenders in the East going forward, and they've always been aggressive. I mean, we were talking about this yesterday. Their history is to be aggressive and to figure out ways to improve that roster and to find these diamonds in the rough. So if they lose Gabe Vincent, it would not shock me if they find the next Gabe Vincent. And, and if they lose Kyle Lowry, it would not shock me if they go find another veteran point guard to fill that role for them. And whether it's this summer or whether it's next February, they just seem to always do that. And it's a, it's a great organization over there and they know what they like in their players and they know what they want going forward. So... I mean, since the bubble, they've been around. Conference finals, conference finals, finals. Uh, they're not going anywhere. Are they going to win a title while he's there? I, I don't know. That's tough sledding because, yes, these other teams will have some transition this year, but they're going to continue to get better going forward, and they have stars that are much better players than Jimmy, unfortunately for him. So many changes that could happen. Shams mentioned uh, about the Kyrie Irving at the deadline, the inquiries that were made in Miami. Should they try to sign Kyrie Irving Chandler? I mean, is that is that a fit that would actually work in Miami's favor? I mean, I'm a big talent guy, right? If I can get Kyrie Irving somehow and, and he's on his last limb, his last chance, yeah, I'll, I, I'd throw the kitchen sink still at Kyrie Irving. I think it's a, I think it's a mood point. I think he's going back to Dallas. I think they're going to give him a three or four year max deal. And and I think he'll be there for a while. But yeah, listen, in that culture with with, you know, that with Pat Riley there with Eric Spolstra, if there's ever a place where you know Kyrie's shenanigans can't be uh, can't be done, it's it's Miami. And again, he knows he's on his last chance here. He wants to get paid. He wants to succeed. Um, but yeah, I, I think if you can do that and you can and you can add a talent like Kyrie Irving, and you're already in the situation you are, sure, swing for the fence. But he's going back to Dallas. You guys don't think Kyrie <laughs> could disrupt even the Miami Heat culture? That could be a good challenge for him. See if he could. <laughs> I feel like it would be kind of fun to watch, personally. But, okay, so let's say it's not Kyrie Shams. Who who are some of the other big names that this team could be targeting? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's clear as you go into this offseason, this is a team that probably wants to go get another high-end, uh, you know, star type of guy. At least someone that can take the load off Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, in the regular season. A guy that you can depend on. When Jimmy Butler, like he said during the regular season, like, I don't really care for the regular season. I'm ready for the playoffs. And we saw he can flip the switch come playoff time. He said it before. He doesn't care about all-star games. Doesn't care 
about <laughs> about um about the regular season. He even told Jared Greenberg of NBA TV he doesn't care about the Hall of Fame. So this is a guy who clearly, uh, I mean, he's saying it cares about winning a championship. And I think what this Heat team needs is a guy that can uh, help with that burden in the at least in the regular season, come playoff time. And so we'll see who that guy is. I mean, Kyrie Irving, they made an offer for him at the deadline. It was a little too late. It was right before the trade happened to the Mavericks. Um, mm. But that's the type of, of guy, right? So when you think about Dame Lillard, he's been uh, highly uh, reported on. He came out and said he'd love to be in Miami if, if he were to be traded. Um, so I, I think that's the type of guy that you want to go get. You know, does a Brad Beal get available? So those are the types of players that you have to look at if you're Miami. And what do you have to give? That's the biggest question, I think. Any package, Tyler Hero, you have, and they can trade up to three first round picks on draft night. So that's kind of the basis of a package you're looking at for a superstar player. Uh, yeah. I mean, can, I don't know. Eddie, have you done the whole what if Kyrie had been traded to Miami before all this? Like, have you thought about it and played with that idea? I mean, it depends on what they had to give up, right? I mean, you're probably looking at you know, Max Struess and Duncan Robinson and, and mm. whatever. But, I mean, he, he's a talent. He's an absolute talent, and he's a playoff performer. He's proven that before. I, I don't know how well he matches with their system, but, I mean, we look at the things that Tyler Hero has done. Kyrie can do <laughs> that and more if he's over there with those guys. So, yeah, if they were able to maintain Jimmy, Bam, and some of their other guys – it changes things for sure, but I mean, how much better are they going to do it? I don't think they would beat the Nuggets if they have if they have Kyrie instead of you know four other guys and the depth they needed to get there. <laughs> all those guys contributed, like wh whomever it was, they would have had to yeah. trade it. All those guys contributed, so you know it's it is addition, but it, it, you are have some subtraction as well. I'm very curious about what they do this off season. Like if they're going to really spring big. If, if they're going to put Bam out of bio on the table, which I don't think they should do unless it's for a, a, a Jalen Brown type, a Joel Embiid who probably should not be available unless he asks out um, one of those superstar types, anything is possible for them. And, and I'm very curious to see what they go and, and, you know, they get to start doing this next week. As Sean's mentioned, the night of the draft and they had those picks eligible to trade. Uh, Dame is the loudest of the names for sure. But I wonder if they kick the tires on Trey Young. You know, oh. they, they're going to have to add something, and they have to know that going forward. So I'm very curious to see what they do. Well, Trey Young already said the Hawks were next, so he's got work to do in Atlanta, according to his uh, social media. But Chandler, <laughs> Tyler Hero, I mean, we, we did, it's been a minute since we've seen him play. Should he be on the table? I mean, I think, yeah, he is on the table, but also it's, it's what have you done for me lately? And he wasn't there in the most critical part. And obviously it's not his fault. He suffered a freak injury here. And Tyler Hero is a hooper and he's exactly what they need. Sure, if they can go and get a, a Jordan Clarkson or someone like that this summer to kind of replace him and go get you 15 to 22 points a game, and you can put Tyler Hero and some picks in a package to go and get a, a Kyrie or a Dame or a Trey Young. I love Trey Young there. I do think Trey Young as a second, third option on that team and that culture. I think that's exactly what he needs. But you know, that's that's a long shot too. But yeah, Tyler Hero, he can play and he's young and he could technically be their future scoring starting two guard for years to come. He's that good. He's that much of a talent. But it's all about, I think, again, what the guys touched on, what they're willing to give up, and 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 they have a lot of assets, so they're in they're in the driver's seat with what they can do, and it'll be interesting because they're already a great product now without making a, a one move. So it's it's they can only get better in my eyes. I'm just pleading with Twitter to get a, a championship ring emoji. I, I just, that's all I want. I want that before I die because that wedding ring thing is so bizarre in context. Shams, I mean, what is that? Like that's. That's something else. That's a different message. <laughs> that's, uh, that's great confidence. We all need for a young confidence. I love it. It's very I'm confident. here for it. Some might say delusional, but those are just some. Uh, I don't know who they 